Guys, it's day 28 of making our own TD game, and today, it's gonna be a quick episode. I wanna actually go down, like, a little rabbit hole with you guys, kinda show you some of the changes I made to the game on day 28. It's more so gonna be me showing you what I did already, cause I actually kinda done it on stream and stuff like that, and it was a little bit all over the place. So today was mainly an organization type day. So let me show you inside of my lobby here. You're gonna love this, guys. Check this out. So in my last episode, if y'all were paying attention, we probably had, and I swear to you on this, I'm not even kidding, guys. We've had probably 600 lines of code within our main core local script do y'all see how many i have right now 232 now if you were in a similar situation as me and you're utilizing ai you guys will probably have run into the errors where you cannot put so much like info or text or letters in one you know message to the ai and if that happened to you i'll tell you how i fixed it so i had a lot of these functions and I could even do this one right here and show you guys exactly what I did in order to get rid of everything. So you see this little update coins label right here? So let's just copy this. It's the name of the function, right? We're going to go to our replicated storage modules here. We're going to add in a module script and we are going to, first of all, name it update coins label. I'm just going to make that U a capital though, just because uh, to stay consistent with the naming, of course. But other than that, guys, we're just going to go like this. We don't even need a table. It's just going to be one little thing. And uh, outside of that, we're just going to use our other ones and kind of build it upon that. So how do we do this exactly? Well, you guys are going to see here pretty much right away. Now, what I got to do is all this whole function right here, right? We're just going to copy. Control X. That'll get rid of it and copy it. So we'll go like that. Cool. Update coins label. We're just going to go like this and like that and now we have it guys so you may be wondering like well lt you got some blue squiggles there well how do we fix that very simple we're gonna need the player looks like we're gonna need the core gui and then this will just be that so we just have to get it working oh sorry actually gotta be uh that now we're good with that now no blue squiggles there so that's good but now we just like i said before we got to get that local uh not the local, but the player type thing up here. So the service, I believe, right? Player service. So let's go grab that real quick. Go back to here. And that did not fix it, guys. Well, I must be an absolute idiot, right? I don't know. Let's find out here. So players, player, player, wait for child leader stat. Well, there's an easy way and a hard way of doing this. The hard way is guessing. The easy way... And definitely the incorrect way but the way i'm gonna do it which you don't have to is actually you know what maybe i won't do it that way but you could just copy all these guys and just bring them on over but a lot of clutter if you do that it's actually this one that i need oh didn't mean to do that I accidentally x out there but oh i did it again i'm an idiot i keep pressing x i'm so sorry guys gotta press uh, control c but anyways you grab that we'll uh put that up there and we should have that first one done now as you guys can see there cool and then back to the uh, this again, and then we just gotta grab this, and then we are hey, golden. Boom, done. Except for that, why is that not working, boys? Players dot. Oh, now we need this. See, I did need that. I was right. I was right the first time. See, trust your gut. There we go. All right, now we got everything. So the reason that this is gonna work is because now we're just gonna call this module sc uh, script here and. And, you know, and when we do that, we're, we're getting rid of all this stuff, right? Like, well, we already got rid of it. So, like, all, what? I mean, I know it's not that much. Like, that was a, a simpler one. But this is kind of just showing you guys what I've done. We got rid of four lines of code. But in the case of the build unit buttons, we had 400 lines of code, guys. I'm not kidding. Yeah, 400 lines of code just to build the buttons. Which makes sense because it's, like, kind of, like, the most important thing for that part. But something simple like this, easy enough for you guys to hopefully follow if you are, you know, maybe learning something from these videos which like i said you probably shouldn't be but this is something that's working for me for right now at least you know maybe i'll end up screwing the whole game up but I, you know right now the game's all working so it's uh it's a very good method to organize the game and it's basically what i've done in the last couple of days now the only last thing that you have to actually do though and this is the most important part is you need to go back into your core local script and actually require it because otherwise 
you know you're not gonna have it right just because you know if you guys look my let me get those blue squiggles down there right so let's fix that real quick so we're just gonna copy this in and then we're gonna paste in the names of the stuff so it was update coins label so i just copied that boom and copy that boom and now we should have it done i just uh once again we remember guys we changed the name we, we just want to be consistent here so just like put a capital u but then you know everything should be working now so what does that do you may be asking that was handling how many coins the player has and it would display it right here so if i go and summon summon 10 real quick hopefully oh we gotta select it i gotta i gotta put up a warning like maybe i just have like an auto selected first crate but maybe put up a warning be like hey you don't have a crate selected so but anyways summon 10 i was, I was getting nervous there for a second i was like uh oh is it not working but anyways it's working guys just fine here and now we got 10 new units which just a bunch of junk right there nothing really too too good i've all this time i've been summoning units and stuff testing the game out i've only gotten one mythic so far i'm so unlucky guys but we were at 18,000. now we are at 17,000 coins so obviously that is working and working wonderfully and then uh, on top of that we got that from last episode the unequip and you know the sell button like all that stuff guys it's working even though i moved everything out of here basically i mean once again i didn't move everything out of here yet because you know as you guys can see right here we actually have uh some more stuff but this stuff right here actually is also something that we could probably move on out of here like this summon frame one this is a big one here lots of code in here you probably just get rid of that guys so i probably don't need that actually in there there's probably no really good reason to have that in there i'm gonna be honest with y'all even like this i just think it, it's gonna make this uh you know this core script a little bit nicer and then we'll just kind of like bring all these module scripts on into here and just kind of call them and it's just like super super clean if you ask me i mean what do i know but it's working i'm happy about it you guys happy about it i don't know i'm happy about it i think it looks a lot better because then uh when i you know have to have ai help me out i can easily just kind of like be like hey i got it in a module script and then here's my main script and i can actually paste all this stuff in now it'll work and then even like the build unit buttons like i know it's 400 lines which is a lot but like the max is like it's even like 500 so i should be good with that and all the other stuff is pretty much good so that's what i've kind of done in this you know day i also i don't know if i showed this yet but like i said i was streaming earlier today kind of crashed out and we i mean i wouldn't really crash out i just you know I, it's hard to work on this while i'm streaming because i'm trying to reach out and also focus on something that i don't really know how to do and i'm learning so it's very difficult to do that but if i show you guys my map and this is only for the boot camp map right now because i made a lot when i say a lot i mean a lot a lot of changes guys to the boot camp map so as you guys remember probably which i just realized i'm in ttd because i just got finished making my my uh, ttd lobby or post office video but let me show you guys something okay i'm gonna go in here if i'm gonna leave this real quick i'm gonna start up my game and i just want to show you i'm just gonna show you it's gonna make more sense if i just show you right so right now we got nothing equipped let's equip some of our units guys we'll equip uh the red unit the pink unit the blue unit this one this one one of each cool and also this is gonna be a godly i think this is gonna be a mythic and then we'll have to add in a legendary and a, a pink one the legendary might be like the sniper or something like that or i could keep this guy pink i don't i don't know honestly guys i the first couple units remember are going to be based on the map so we'll get to that when we get to that but for right now who cares we got our units equipped right so now the important part is actually going to be getting to the map so as i said before these two are not updated yet so i'm gonna have to fix that but for right now uh this one is and you know we got this that little teleportation ui pop up you can just click start skip that easy boom and it's creating the server and now the server is created map is here it hasn't loaded in yet which is something that i could do but it's also something that's not necessary we could just do uh what we have it but as soon as you choose your difficulty and the the voting screen ends the game will start the map will load you fall onto the map and here you are now well in here this uh i gotta move that down because i switched all this up remember if you guys remember before it looked a whole lot different now the uh the ui is the same hotbar that we have from the lobby and right now if i press one two three four five that doesn't work yet i'll probably work on that on day 29 but if you go ahead in here and actually 
you know, do all this, it's working. So, really cool, really good. The only thing that's not working is currently there's player collisions with, uh, with the units, and I don't really know why. Let me just, uh, well, I'm not going to look into it right now, but I just want to point that out that that's one of the problems right now. But, yeah, I mean, that's that's that. As you guys saw there, the uh, the units that you have equipped transfer over, which is super epic. And, I mean, you can place them and upgrade them and all that good stuff. So, I mean, it took me a while to figure that out. I'm not going to lie. That's something I don't really understand about this uh, whole dev thing quite yet is the data saving. But AI does. So that means we do too, guys. That means we do too. So yeah, I mean that's that's pretty much it, guys. That's where we're at. That's what we've done on day twenty. What did I say? Seven. So day twenty-seven, super big success. It was kind of like day twenty-seven because I it took like three days of honestly getting all this done because it just took a while. So it took a couple of days to do it. I'm not gonna lie, guys, but I couldn't really make a video out of all the other stuff. So here we are. That's what we got. Next couple of days, we're gonna get this uh, index done, the shop done, the trading done couple of the uh, other bug fixes and guys then the game's gonna be ready so listen help your boy out like this video drop a comment let me know what you're most excited for in this game give me some unit ideas give me some map ideas and most importantly share this with a friend tell them you know get excited for this game we're gonna need uh we're gonna need some support we're gonna need to grow this game blow this game up all right for real i know you can do this you guys are amazing people out there i, I believe in y'all and uh i believe in myself i think we're gonna make ourselves a pretty good game here so so far, it's coming along pretty, pretty well, and I'm pretty proud of it. So thanks for watching. See you guys in the next one. Adios.